Another day. What are we doing today? Chocolate. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the finest chocolates you will find in Finland. Actually, who knows? These are the cheapest chocolates that I can find at both S Market, probably find them at Prisma and Aleppo and all those other stores, and at Little. Uh, hold on, I'll get you a price on these. So back with the price. Deal is the ones from Extra, these ones that come from S Market, from Prisma, the whole S brand stores. Um, they cost 55 cents, not too bad for 100 grams. And the ones from Little, the chocolate with peanuts, the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate, they're a little cheaper for 49 cents. 100 grams also. Um, I couldn't find any cheap uh, sub one euro Pirka K market brand, so they're not here. I don't know, I, I have a vague memory that they used to sell them, uh, but not even online could I find it listed, so they might have discontinued discontinued it or maybe they just don't have it where I am so it's today it's only uh, S market versus Lidl extra versus Lidl so let's go ahead and start with that okay so the plan here is we should test them side by side we will do the dark chocolate along the alongside the dark chocolate First, I will taste the one from Lidl. Unlike many of their products, this does not actually have, you know, a fake name brand. It just says dark chocolate. 55 cents, not too bad. Chocolate comes whole. What we see here, nice uh, 15 pieces. And I'll just taste a bit of one and we'll see how that comes out. Not bad. Star chocolate. Um, quite hard. That's good. Um, we're sitting in room temperature, about I think it's like 21, 22 degrees Celsius in here. So, yeah, it's like it's got a snap to it. It's got a maybe I can snap it here. You see, it's got a little snap to it, and uh, when you eat it, it's not too hard. Not bad. Move on to the extra dark chocolate, and we'll see how that differs. This comes in a plastic wrap rather than the aluminum foil and paper that little comes in. And we have six times four, 24 pieces, smaller pieces, but you know, if you like portion control, this is it. Still has a nice snap to it, similar to the little one. It's a bit softer. A bit softer and hmm, what can I say about it? I wonder if it has milk in it or something. It has like a, a creamier taste. It does have, looks like it has an emulsifier. Not sure if the ones from uh, Little have that, which Little also has, so you know, similar ingredients, I guess. This one's got a, I guess, a little bit of vanilla. Aroma in there, vanillin, and I don't think the one from Little has that. It does have some added, uh, I guess, natural flavoring or something, but that might be the difference. They're both good. If I had to choose between one of these, I would get the um, little one uh, because I don't like the chocolate as creamy, but they're both good. I'm um, actually, yeah, they're, they're both good. 55 cents, decent chocolate. Uh, so creamier and a little uh, snappier, but both easy to chew. So, out of the way, move to milk chocolate, which generally should be creamy, shouldn't it? And uh, what are we gonna have here? We'll start out with S brand this time and Already we can see that it has a lighter color. Maybe I'll zoom in, we can get a little more, more texture in there. We can see what what makes up this chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And same design as before, identical. 
immediately feels creamier. A little bit zoom in there, right? Takes a bit for it. Okay, there we go. So I can. It is a much softer. It doesn't have the same snap to it. And already in my hand, it feels greasy. Like it's gonna make a mess in my hand if I hold it in my hand. Like I'm gonna have chocolatey hands. And to their credit, tastes like milk chocolate. A bit of an odd slap. Yes, it's good. Um, tastes like what I expect milk chocolate to taste like. No surprises. Very creamy. Um, not bad at all. Now I've had the extra one in the past. Maybe they've changed their formula in the past few years, um, but I know that years ago they had a bit of a weird aftertaste, but hey, not anymore. It's kind of the reason I stopped buying them, but no complaints with this. So, back to the little one. And again, identical shape, texture, all that. We're gonna take a piece this is definitely snappier, harder, more rigid than the the one on the left. So again, extra feels already creamier, but this one from Little, let's go ahead and taste it. And quite good. Um, Also a creamy chocolate, um, not as creamy as the extra in my opinion. It's quite close. Uh, personally, I like the little one better. Again, um, but in my opinion, they're they're pretty close. Again, you, you can't go wrong with either of these. Um, I'm just a little bit, in my opinion, I I like that one a bit a bit better. Okay, well, that's my opinion, and now. Uh, these we can't really compare now, can we? I can give taste test to all of them, let you know how I like them, and that's what we'll do. Little still has a hazelnut milk chocolate, uh, and maybe at some point I will compare the two. The reason I didn't buy it this time was because the little hazelnut milk chocolate is actually priced a bit higher end. They used to have a 55 cent uh, hazelnut. Maybe maybe they still do. Maybe, maybe I just read the labels wrong. But uh, yeah, we'll taste these and see how they come out. But starting with the one from Little. And well, it's peanuts. It's a very soft chocolate. Tastes exactly like you expect. It's milk chocolate with peanuts. Has plenty of peanuts to taste peanut tea. So no complaints. You can see it throughout the texture. And it has plenty of peanuts in it. So it doesn't look like they uh, doesn't look like they it looks like they use plenty of peanuts and it didn't go too cheap on that, so it's good. I can recommend it. Hazelnut milk chocolate. We'll see how this comes up. Can't really compare this to peanuts because they're hazelnuts, but should still be a nutty, nutty taste to it. Go ahead and zoom out a bit there, and take a little piece. Okay, so that piece did not have any hazelnuts in it, so maybe take a bigger piece. Alright, okay, so fine. Um, I wish they would have maybe chopped it, the hazelnuts a bit more or used more hazelnuts because even though I've got a couple hazelnuts in those bits of hazelnuts in those bites it just doesn't taste you know with the peanuts every bite had peanuts in it crunchy throughout um, this feels like it has the, the ratio is not there so um, I can't quite recommend it, but if you really do like hazelnuts, you know, you can go ahead and grab it, but compared to the, the rest, it's 
it's more of a milk chocolate with some hazelnuts than anything else. So there's that. And finally the white chocolate. And we'll give this a taste, white chocolate, right? Again, same design, everything the same, but it's white chocolate, which is quite creamy. And tastes like white chocolate. What can I say? No surprises, nothing crazy. Tastes like what it says it is. So, that's your taste test. Who's the winner? Man, that's gonna be a hard one. It's really up to personal preference. Uh, the extra milk chocolate has kind of a distinct taste. So, I think the uh, little one tasted a bit more authentic. And in general, I did like the little chocolates better. And they were also cheaper, you know, six cents cheaper, so. Uh, yeah, they went on that front. Um, a little bit disappointed with the hazelnut sitting over there. Um, yeah, the hazelnut down there. It just didn't feel like it had enough hazelnuts. But otherwise, if you get white chocolate, if you get milk chocolate, or if you get dark chocolate from Extra, from the, the brand that's sold in Prismas and S Markets in Aleppo, you'll enjoy it. You'll be fine. And same goes for Little. I thought they were fantastic chocolates. You'll also be fine. Um, Yeah, I think at a later date, maybe it'll be good to compare the the white chocolates to other white chocolates, and the same thing with the hazelnuts compared with other hazelnuts. So, little clap there. Maybe not the most exciting thing you've seen all week, but now you know. You go buy the cheapest chocolate, you don't want to spend big money. You, you got 50 cents, you want a high calorie, high impact to your gut, you want to get a little bit fatter. This is what you get. Um, and they're all good. Man, I got nothing to add to this, so... Have a good one. Bye-bye.